song kind of catches up. So it's giving that feeling throughout the reading here. But that is the blockage is self-reliance. And it can be, usually a lot of this mirrors the other one. So the other one could be having some struggles as well with the self-reliant energy um, too. So the previous chapter of your love story, what led up to now, and it's the queen. It's beautiful. So coming into your own power, you know, and even though you may not completely be self-reliant on, you know, have that energy, it is stepping more into your power, into your divine feminine energy. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're a male or female watching the reading. It's we all have both of the energy. So it's coming more into that divine feminine, I feel, but coming more into that power and realization of who you are and stepping into that. Um, <clears throat> and then she's got this little heart that says me on it. So realizing the power of love that's within you too. I feel there's been a self-realization and I see that orange color. So that sacral chakra is coming up here too is important. Where you are in your love story in the present chapter. And we have gratitude. So being grateful and I can't help but see the little houses. So maybe you are grateful for obtaining something um, that is in the 3D is in the physicals, you know, like a, a home or a job or you've established something, but you are in the energy of realizing all the little things that you have now um, and you're in more gratitude, which is helping the energy of your love life. And it can be that you're grateful for, and it's funny, they're showing the birds again. There's the two birds on the same place. They are in the same place. And it's so I feel like you are really in gratitude for the times that you could connect. And it's like something's adding up here. 19, 20, 21 is the numbers on here. So those could be important numbers for someone. They can be important numbers for the month of January too, like the 21st, 22nd, um, 19th, 20th, I'm sorry, 19th, 20th, 21st. Um, and it's like X marks the spot and the X is right over the 21st. So for someone or for some, those three days and then that particular day could be very important coming up in January. But it's like you're really grateful for the times you did connect, every little thing, every message. Um, and you can see like they're counting, counting, somebody's counting and keeping track of, it could be time or, you know, keeping track of those times that they got to be together. Here I'm seeing the number, master number 11 down here. So there's more popping off this card for me that, that has really ever had. So you know, seeing more little things that you normally wouldn't and being in gratitude for them. So that's where you are right now. The next chapter in your love story, if you can move past the block in number three, which was just an energy of complete self-reliance, which we need to be in, you know, um, that leaves no codependent energy. You know, when you're completely self-contained, self, you know, sovereign type of energy, you don't have that and you want but you don't have the need, you don't have to have, you don't have that desperate energy, you don't have the codependent energy. So that's still a bit of a blockage for some. Um, you haven't completely mastered that, but I feel that you're definitely making strides and you're coming into it um, as well. And I feel fall is gonna be a completion for a lot that are watching that. And so um, we are in the next chapter in your love story. So one, two, three, four, five, so six. The next chapter in your love story, and if you can move past that, and when you do move past that, it is solitude. So for me, this talks about, again, when you master that, you are kind of sovereign. You are, you know, self-contained, but not like you're blocking people out or you're blocking your partner out. It's being, you know, peaceful in that state. So when you get peacefully in that state, then the energy shifts and the energy changes, and then the soulmate follows that energy. Um, coming in, but it's talking about a peaceful state. It's talking about solitude, happiness, peace, contentment is the word that's coming up from this. So you will be in full contentment when you reach that state, um, regardless of the situation, regardless of the outside energies. Um, so the next one is seven, and it is the end of the love story for January, February, and it is wildflower. And that song, what is that song? Wild thing, you know, wild heart thing. <laughs> you make everything groovy, baby. That kind of came up when I looked at that. Um, so it's like kind of like, and it says, I am a wildflower. I am a wildflower. So again, really looking at the little things, being grateful for the little things. There's like all these big things around this person, this girl, and she's just focused on the tiniest of things. And it's kind of like that gratitude energy that you're in right now. So I feel you're going to be more in that. And it's, you're going to be more, 
again, moving towards that self-reliance, really doing your own thing. Um, and, and in that, that is attractive. That is attractive to others. You're not in a codependent, grasping, desperate type of energy. You're moving more and more into that. And it's, it's sexy, baby. It's that wild thing kind of energy. You're just off doing your own thing. And that's cool, you know, and you're in that sense of appreciation for the little things along the path in the relationship. So I love how that is unfolded. And don't forget the travelers and the undercurrent. So that kind of with all of this kind of gives like the gypsy feeling like you're just out and about and doing your own thing. Even though it can be a temporary state until things come into more solidity, um, it is talking about that energy. So I do want to end with, for some reason, they want me to pull a couple more from here. And we have that sexual healing energy too in the beginning. We have Princess, which I love this one. And she's eating that watermelon. And we have Truth Spoken. So it's talking about communication, speaking your truth, your inner truth, which can be just, hey, I'm good by myself right now. What I'm doing, you know, I'm focusing on me. I'm focusing on my passions, what brings me alive, what lights me up. You know, you may need to speak that. It's like, hey, you know, it's not like I don't want to see you or be with you or whatever, but I'm really, um, it's kind of like, how they say lighting your own fire turning yourself on whatever it's kind of that energy and it's talking about that um but don't forget that opposites do attract and there's that other song it's like all these songs are coming up is that paul abdul this one has come up before so you know opposites do attract is talking about that the, the cat and the dog are in here together and right under underneath that is the love so there is love with the cat and the dog <laughs> coming up for some this is going to be important as well as an analogy or something i feel um but don't forget that you may need to speak that truth throat chakra energy is coming up uh, for january so i will be back hopefully sometime in february with february's love story i'm not sure exactly when um so things may not get posted right on time like they have been and i'm unsure when my my shop will open but i appreciate everyone's patience and I will see everyone soon. I'm going to be doing another reading or two here as well and posting them. Um, so watch for those to be uploaded. Big hugs. Happy New Year.